Hello, everyone. My guest today is Minfook Tran. He's building a very interesting company, NotionTweet.app. He's a senior software engineer, previously a fellow at Entrepreneur First, a global startup incubator, and loves bootstrapping SaaS products for creators and makers in public. Min, are you ready to take us to the top? Yeah. So hello, everyone. So I'm currently a software engineer uh, and trying to bootstrap my first ever business, uh, first ever SaaS business called Notion to it and focusing on helping maker and creators being more productive, making more and money. How's it going? Do you, do you have customers yet or still, you're still pre-customers? Uh, I, I have customers now. Like okay. I pay customers for now. So it's at like $30. $30 MRR now. So <laughs> that's great. So five customers, what they're paying on average five, 10 bucks a month, something like that. Yeah. Like upward of uh, $7 a month. Okay. And when, when did you get your first customer? How many months ago was it? Uh, it's like two weeks ago, three weeks ago when I first released my MVP. And then that's when there's like, I, I make a landing page and also a Twitter handle for Notion Tweet. And then a lot of people just find it interesting. And then they just reach out to me even before I build the product. So when I just first managed to get the product running, uh, there are already a couple of people interested in. And I try to go, I try to get only pet user, even at MVP stage. Mm -hmm. And that's why I get my first paying customer after MVP. Like, right after I released the MVP. Now, Minfook, you already, you built an audience for this, right? So when you say people are interested on what platform, what, where were they watching you? Was this Twitter exclusively where your, your followers were signing up? Yeah. For the it's on Twitter. Like even before that, I didn't really have a big audience. Right now I only have like 1K followers, but thanks to the fact that Indie Hacker Twitter handle, uh, interested in the product and then he shared the product uh, and then a lot of people know about it and then they just DM me on Twitter. Well, we're big fans of Cortland and his team and Indie Hackers. They're great supporters of Bootstrap yeah. and Mass Founders, which we love. So this is great. Now give us more of your backstory. Are you doing this full time or is this a side project? Uh, it's a side project. Um, having a, a full time job as a senior software engineer. Uh, before that, I actually quit my job to try to launch a VC backable startup, but then I didn't really enjoy raising funding at the early stage. So I decided to bootstrap uh, on the side now. And what was that old company? Uh, sorry? What was the old company um, that you quit your job for and tried to launch on the side? Yeah, so I joined a startup incubator and tried to launch a couple of small ideas related to remote work like basically a tool to enable people uh, get more remote gigs as well as high, higher, better freelancers mm -hmm. uh, at the incubator. So got a couple of small customers, but then I just didn't really find myself enjoying that. So it's you're kind of a marketplace. So do you now with NotionTweet.app, you own 100% and you're bootstrapped, correct? Yeah, I, I own 100%. Okay. And what would have to happen at Notion Tweet for you to quit your full time job? Uh, <laughs> I think it's gonna if it's managed to get five k MRR, I will, my, I, I will quit my job. And what's your plan to get to five k MRR? Uh, right now, I'm going after B two B customers. At first, I thought it's gonna be a fun project, but then currently, there are quite a few B two B customer who are reaching out. And they are much more willing in terms of what they might pay for the product. So uh, I, I also have a friend who very interested in working with me on that. So hopefully we'll try to see how it goes with that B2B segment. Now, we haven't talked a bunch about the product. Why don't you tell us what a Notion Tweet app does? Yeah, sure. So the idea, the idea is basically a Twitter all-in-one tool where you can schedule, manage, and plan your tweets and also see the analytics. And there are a lot of tools out there for social media creators. Uh, and I'm just a Notion fan by myself and I need a way to differentiate the product uh, to others. And 
at first I try to look for different tools uh, to grow my Twitter, but then there are too many options and all of that, I need to use another tool uh, on a daily basis, which is a problem for me. So, okay, I decided, okay, that, that is a problem uh, for me. And I, I'm, I use Notion to plan most of my content. So I build the product, basically just a tool that plug into your Notion which is where you plan your ideas and allow you to schedule, plan your tweets, and also see full analytics inside your Notion. So What's the value you? though? Is it, is it the scheduling, the analytics? I mean, when I look at your landing page, the value I see is I can do things like do a bullet list or a checkbox or nested bullet points and write those in Notion and it will automatically translate to, to Twitter when I schedule that tweet. Yeah, so the value is both. The, la the, landing, the landing page is very outdated now. Like I have no time to update that. Uh, but the product now allow you to schedule and also see analytics and those two integrated to each other. So it's allow you to customize your own Notion workspace with different properties and topic and all of that, and then allow you to filter based on the analytics later. So moving forward, where do you, what, like what experiments you're gonna run to get, you know, go from five customers to 50 customers? Uh, honestly, I do not have an exact answer for that. Uh, uh, so right now I still focus on building, um, improving the product based on the feedback of current pet customers, but I have a wait list of five, 400 people that I didn't even send any email to them yet. Why not? Uh, so hopefully because I want to really get the products like on the current pet customer are really really happy and using that like on a daily daily basis and then i will send it out mm -hmm. also because notion api is not officially released so if i allow public sign up uh there may be some reason so <laughs> sorry say that again so you're open sourcing it and you're worried about data and privacy concerns if you get real signups no no uh, the notion api is not official uh, yet. So I'm using an unofficial Notion ABI. I see. Uh, and that's why I need to yeah get it to work with the Notion ABI, official ABI first. Otherwise, like when there are 100 people sign up, there may be a problem. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying because you're going to start pinging their unofficial API yeah. more aggressively. And they're going, who's this guy? Who's this guy doing this? Yeah. But that's also fun because even when I'm building on top of an official ABI, they're still paying customer. So <laughs> yeah. I love that. No, we love that. Very cool. Now, is your plan to keep this bootstrapped or it, will you go raise more capital to build a team and run more experiments? Uh, I would keep it bootstrapped for now. Uh, probably, yeah, let's see how it goes. But I, I don't think I will, I will raise any money in one year or two. Yeah. Awesome. Min Fook, on that note, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh, not exactly business, but uh, the subtle act of not giving a fuck. <laughs> Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, sorry? Is there a founder that you're following or studying? Uh, there's a lot on Twitter. Like I didn't, it, I, I'm, yeah, I did not, I do not idolize any specific founder, but yeah, a lot of bootstrap on Twitter. Who's your favorite bootstrapper on Twitter? Uh, Kenneth. The founder of Sleep. Spell it. Spell the company. Uh, sleep, uh, S-L-I-P. Uh, slip, got it. Number three, what's your favorite, on number yeah. four, what's your favorite online tool for building your business? Uh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, seven hours. And what's your situation? Uh, married, single, kids? Single. Okay. And how old are you? Uh, 23. 23. Okay, Minfo. Last question. Um, what do you wish you knew three years ago when you were 20? Uh, I wish I started building an audience back then. That's just, yeah.
Guys, build an Ollie audience earlier. He sure is now. NotionTweet.app enables you to write tweets, schedule them, and get analytics from Notion and then publish them directly into Twitter, all within Notion's API or inside of uh, inside of NotionTweet.app. He's got five customers paying seven bucks a month, so 35 bucks in revenue, his first 35. I hope to have you back on soon, and you're going to be telling me you're doing 35 million a year in revenue. Thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> all right, folks, take care. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live, and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it, and the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.